Hey guys, Anya here. I am really excited today because I am finally going to start that tarot series I promised you guys. So, um, yeah, um, about in July or so, I had promised that I wanted to start a tarot series to share some of the Japanese tarot decks that I've acquired here. Um, I'm not a very skilled reader. In fact, I'm very, very uh, new. I'm very new to tarot. I'm a, definitely like on the very beginner side of tarot. But um, since I knew I wasn't going to be here forever and I really love some of the art in some of these decks, I told myself I was going to allow myself to collect a few tarot decks in order to have them when I return. It's I think it'll be a really nice I guess souvenir, not just souvenir, but a really nice thing to remember my time in Japan um, with. And so I've got a few decks, I don't have like a ton, I'm not like collecting and throwing all my money out at them, but um, the ones that I've come across that I'm like, wow, I really love that art, um, I have decided I was going to allow myself to get them. So today I'm going to share with you guys one of my favorite ones that I've got. Um, I just really love the art style of this artist, and he's a fairly famous artist from what I understand. Um, and the tarot deck I am sharing with you guys today is this one, and it is the Amano Yoshitaka deck. Um, Amano Yoshitaka is an artist. Um, I think he's most famous for having worked on the Final Fantasy series. Um, I wrote a few notes about him. He's designed most of the main characters and prominent points in throughout the game series. I think he was a lead character designer for Final Fantasy 1 through 6, but I found that he's also been involved with pretty much all the Final Fantasy games even up until now. So um, he mostly, or one of his most famous things is that he illustrates for that video game series. Um, he's also an illustrator for the Vampire Hunter D series, and uh, he did a... Um, he worked on a Neil Gaiman book as well. Um, this I wrote it down. The Sandman, The Dream Hunters is the one that he's worked on. So he's done a ton of different stuff. Um, he seems very well known. And I wanted to share this deck and the gorgeous art that's in it. So I'll just open this up and show you guys. So this is a sleeve here. And it comes with the book. Pretty simple cover. It's all in Japanese, so you won't be able to read it. It's got some, it's in color. The pictures are in color and everything. It's a nice book. And they've got some spreads and things as well. So, I won't spend too much time on this since you can't read it and I can only read some of it. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, it fell on the floor. And this is the casing that the cards come in. And let's see here. And um, I'm going to hold it up, but the cards come in a box like this, split in half. I'll start with these. And I just really love the art style of these. They're very, very, I don't know. I think I find the arts to be very unique. Um, I discovered his art style, like I found a blog of his, of different art, not just these. And they're gorgeous. I, I will put a link in the description to more of his art. I think it's a Tumblr blog that someone made just sharing a lot of his art. So um, I'll show you guys the Major Arcana first. I think they're gorgeous. And like I said, um, I'm not super advanced at tarot or anything. Um, but I also think that this deck does not have a lot of the imagery that I'm used to seeing in a lot of tarot decks. So this is definitely going to be one of those that... If I use it for actual reading, it's going to be much later down the line. Right now, it's mostly just looking really nice in my in my space. So I'm going to show you guys a few of these here. Magician. Hopefully, it's focusing. Um, I don't know how much you can see. I won't go through every single card, um, but one thing I'll mention is that a lot of Japanese tarot decks, including this one, um, all of the, the pip cards, the numbered cards, 
don't have full illustrations. And I found that with most of the Japanese tarot decks that I've come across, um, either they um, just have the, the symbol but not the il full illustration, or I've also found a lot of decks that don't even include a minor arcana, they only are the major arcana. So, I like this one, it's interesting. There's a lot of detail, it's a very unique style I feel. The Hermit's interesting. It's been a while since I've looked at these actually. Yeah, this is not your usual tarot imagery and I'm not sure how great it is for um, a lot of re readers, but if nothing else, I find the art really fascinating. This one's the Wheel of Fortune. And they're very glossy cards. Um, I will mention that. I think this one was one of my favorite ones. The Justice card. from about the early 90s. I was reading about the deck. Um, it was published in the early 90s in the form of a book, actually. Like, the, the art apparently was made with tarot in mind, but originally was not published as an actual deck, but as a photo book that was then made into a deck in the early 90s. I also like the star card. It definitely it gives me, like, a very 80s vibe, early 90s vibe. And I discovered this deck actually through someone in the YouTube Pagans Facebook group. Um, I think his name was Adam? I don't know, he's not very active on it anymore. When I first joined that Facebook group, it wasn't very active, as it like not nearly as active as it is now, and it was always the same few people that were posting on a regular, and occasionally people would comment, but it wasn't a very active group in the beginning. Um, oh, I wasn't there in the beginning, I mean when I first joined it. It's only like in the last year that it's been very active, but um, since the YouTube Pagan Challenge started and things like that. But there used to always be this guy named Adam who used to, oh, this one's pretty interesting. This is the same one, sorry. I was just like, wow, there's a lot of detail in that one. And I'm sure my video doesn't do it justice. There's a lot of imagery in this, wow. The world. That's the major arcana. But yeah, so this guy, I think his name was Adam. Um, he used to post his art. He didn't do YouTube, it looks like. It looked like he mostly did art and would post some of his art and things like that. And I believe once he posted a photo of his guitar and he had one of these cards in it um, or on it or something. And I asked like, what is that tarot deck? I freaking love it. And he was saying it's, it's a Japanese tarot deck and blah, blah, blah. And I think he told me the name of it. His friend had sent it to him from Japan. And, of course, me being in Japan, immediately looked it up and found it. Um, turns out it is um, not in print anymore. It's an out-of-print deck that is difficult, if really difficult, to find new. I don't think you would usually find it brand new. But you can usually find it in uh, online. I, I found, I believe I found, I found, I bought two copies of this deck, actually, and one of them I had bought to gift to a friend, so I've already gifted one away um, last time I went home. But... I bought one of them on Amazon Japan, and it was reasonably priced. And then the other one I found in a used bookstore. So, I mean, they're available, they exist, it's not like super rare to find, it's just, I believe that it probably wouldn't be like as easy to find elsewhere in the world. But I mean, it's doable, I'm sure you could find them online anywhere. But um, I'll show you a few of the major arcana. Like I said, the numbers are just, there's the two of cups, the three of cups, so the number, cards are just like this, um, with the exception of Ace of Cups. I hope these are um, focusing well. And 
Where is the page? There we go. Page of Cups. So yeah, um, for all you more skilled tarot readers out there, I'm not sure how great this deck would be to read with, especially if you're more of an intuitive tarot reader where you base what you're, um, you base your reading off of the picture solely. However, I mean, you might be able to get a lot more out of them than me. I've just, I've read a few reviews of the deck and some people have also said that, that it's not their favorite deck for reading, but they just really love the art. So I thought I would share it with you guys. Oh, and the back is reversible. Here's the back, pretty minimalistic. That's the same little place, yeah. Um, and I'll show you guys the other suits while we're at it, since I'm here. And all of the decks that I'll be showing you, I'm not showing them all today, I'm just showing this one today, but um, they're all by different artists, and they're all in very different styles. And there we go. And I mean, I've had some of them in my videos in the past, so... And once again, the, the cards are just the symbols. Here we go, the Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. I'm trying to get it to focus, it's kind of hard. King of Wands. This one's not focused, I can tell. Focus, focus. And Ace of Swords. Here, what the swords look like. Page of Swords. There, it looks like if I hold them up further, it might focus a little better. Sorry about that, guys. Hopefully, you guys got to see them well enough. If there's any card that you would like me to show again, let me know in the comments, and I will happily show them again or take a few photos and make a video for you or post them online somewhere. Throw them on Instagram or something. King of Swords. I like the Ace of Pentacles card. The Ace of Pentacles. Now here's what the Pentacle cards look like. I've got the face symbol right there, see? And moving in, we're almost done here. Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. And that's the blank card. And then in the deck, there were two just blank cards like this as well. So that's the whole deck, basically. Um, or at least the fully illustrated cards. And then, yeah, so let me know what you think of this deck. Um, it's one of my favorites that I've found just because I love the art so much. And I'm going to post a link to that and to a blog or a review of this deck that I thought was really informative about the background of the deck and... Um, some other extra information and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this um, I'm gonna be showing some other decks um, another day I think I've told you anything I wanted to tell you about the artist it's just I gave you guys a super brief overview I didn't want this to be forever long so yeah I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys soon bye